Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. <clears throat> Wanted to give a review on my opinion on the um, Amazon 4 foot 5000K um, LED lights, shop lights. Um, I was kind of kind of skeptical at first. Um, looked at Home Depot, Lowe's for some lights for my garage. I'm actually working on a project truck and I needed more lighting in here. Um, so I looked at Lowe's and Home Depot, even Harbor Freight, and I was kind of, I didn't want to pay the prices of Home Depot and Lowe's. Uh, kind of skeptical about um, Harbor Freights. Um, I mean, I have some good experience and bad experiences. And then um, <clears throat> decided to check Amazon. Found these lights, um, good reviews. I will put the link on the lights below. Um, I believe for six lights, I got them for $139 uh, shipped with Prime, uh, which I thought was pretty good because uh, I think Amazon, or Harbor Freight was a little bit cheaper. Um, but I figured, well, I get six instead of four, so I'd find something to do with the other two, which I did. Um, but let me show them to you, and let me show you how bright they get, and um, see you in a bit. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> okay, sorry guys. I made this video after I put them up, um, or else I would have actually had one down to show you. But these are actually connectable. So you disconnect it here, and this is how they link. They're linkable, that's what they say. They're linkable, they're, they're four feet. In length each and like I said you can link them all the way across so um, what I did was I did <clears throat> one here and one there and then I did one I don't know if you can see it I did one over there it's over there so those are my four so let me show you how bright it is with and without them all right guys so this is my garage the only thing that's on right now is the daylight from outside and the light bulb from the garage door opener because I just closed the garage door. But here's my normal garage light, okay? And you can see how bright that is. So now this is with uh, one light on. Okay, so that's one light right there, guys. Now I'm gonna put two on. I'm gonna put one on the other side as well. Okay, so that's with two lights on right there. So obviously you can tell the difference. So even if I turn off the garage light, can't really tell much difference. So let me turn on the other two. So this is with all four shop lights on. So again, four lights on. Now I got the garage light on. So let me just, so that's just the four shop lights. So four shop lights, and this is just the garage light by itself. So to me, it's a major, major difference. It actually helps me out a lot, a lot with the uh, shadowing and being able to see what I'm working on. So to me, guys, um, I actually think that these lights for the price, they actually work really, really well. Um, like I said, um, I had to weld, out, weld a frame, and um, with these extra lights, it actually gave me a plenty of light that I really, really needed. So I'm very happy with them for the price. Um, like I said, they're very easy to link up. Um, you connect one. Uh, one side has the, um, the male plug. You plug into your, your wall socket. The other side has a female where you link your other um, four-foot section to. And I believe you can link up to four of them. Uh, or six, I can't remember, four or six of them all onto one plug. So it makes it a lot, lot easier. Uh, me, I wanted the lights kind of separated on both sides of my garage. So I did two on one side to one plug and then two the other side to one plug. For now, I ran an extension course just to see how it'll work. Um, but I think I'm actually gonna run sockets so that way I can just plug directly into them. Uh, but overall, I'm very happy with them. Um, since I had two plugs left, or two, two um, lights left, um, I decided we need something to do with them. So my problem is, let me show you. Okay, so my problem is I've got one light there, one light there, which is fine. And then I've got one there and then one on the other side. But that's when the garage door is closed. So if I open it, they actually get blocked. So half my light is gone, guys. So I figured, well, what can I do? What can I, how can I fix it? So what I did was I came up with the idea that the two extra lights I actually put on the garage door itself. Okay, and just like that, same thing, I linked them together. And then all of, for now, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix all this, but for now I just put a extension cord and I'll just plug it into my socket right there. Okay, but um, as you can see, I have magnets right there and um, it came with the chain the lights come with the chain 
So all I did was um, connect it to there. So let me show you how I did that. All right, guys. So like I said, I used a magnet right here. And this is the actual magnet that I got from Harbor Freight. Comes with two magnets, and I think it was like four bucks or something. Um, that's it right there. And if you notice, it actually has a hook. I don't know if you can see it, the little square hook. So it's actually flat onto the magnet. And I put the chain, and I just basically got a screwdriver and bent it up to kind of um, close in the chain over the little hook. So that way um, it doesn't come loose. Ran some zip ties where you would normally put the screws for it to mount to the wall. Ran a zip tie to, cha to the chain. I took off the excess. And then these magnets just stick straight to my metal garage door. And then, like I said, I just linked up the next one. And that's how it looks. Pretty easy, right? And like I said, it's not... <clears throat> It kind of swivels, it kind of just hangs, so it's not really stuck to the door. So as the door moves, it's able to move. Um, I haven't had any problems yet with anything going out, anything burning out, um, with the garage door going up and down, but let me show you. So <clears throat> that's it guys, like I said, I've got two of them on the door, so now when the door's up and the two that are blocking, these actually take its place. So, as you can see, and now my work area, I have plenty of light. Right exactly where I'm working. Let me show you again. Lights on, lights off. So, as you can see, the lights do make a difference. So even with the lights on, like I said guys, I had no problems so far with these things falling off, getting short circuited or anything. Like I said, I'm, I'm actually kind of happy with it. Like I said, it's a convenience thing since I had two extras, and those take the place of these, where the garage door is open. When it's closed, then I'll just use these two that I have here. And the cool thing about these lights, guys, is that you can actually turn on one, two, three, four, all six. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, they're linkable, but just because they're linkable doesn't mean they all have to be on at once. Um, you can turn on one or light, you know, one, every other one or whatever. Um, they each have their own little switch. The only thing that I don't don't like about them is that the little pull switch is a little short. Um, I'm gonna get some extensions so that way I can kind of reach them a little bit better. Um, but like I said, if that's my only complaint, guys, I mean that's that's not bad at all. Uh, like I said, for the price, I think I paid 130, 139, something like that for six of them shipped. Um, and then the uh, magnets that I got, I think I paid about four bucks a piece, so I bought two of them, so eight bucks, so 140, 150 bucks. I'm into it. Um, I use the chains that it came with. I had zip ties here. I had a, a couple extension extension cords here. Um, that's it, guys. And like I said, now my shop, my garage has more lighting that I need so that I can actually work. Um, you know, it was cheaper than buying some of these other lights from Home Depot and all that. So if you guys are considering these lights, I do highly recommend them. Like I said to me, they're worth the money. I've had them up for maybe about three weeks now and haven't had one issue yet. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, got any comments, any questions, you know, please share them. You know, we'd be happy to uh, answer them. So um, see you next time, guys. Bye.